All right, Mr. Tennessee, this is my setup here. Part of that 2500 club. My truck is old, old dinosaur here. But uh, my RV battery, I usually keep strapped there unless it's in the trailer. I got a little 750 watt power inverter. Arbor Freight, it cost me it was $60 originally, and I paid $49 with the uh, members club. So we turn that on. And then this is a mainstays from Walmart. It's $20. Let's see that? says it takes a thousand watts however and the good thing about this <clears throat> is so it comes with the regular coffee filter sorry and it also has one of these that is for the Keurig cup I've got it in the truck I don't really use the Keurig cups too much so I just run this one so that's nice uh, it is a single cup coffee maker. It only makes up to 14 ounces, but it's perfect for my little travel mug here. I'm going to just dump some water in. I'm not going to actually make coffee with it, but you get the picture. And it's got a, it tells you down there how many ounces as you fill this up, how many ounces you get to. I'm just putting 10 ounces in it. All right. Go ahead and plug her in here. Plugged in. You head over here. Get the K cup, or if you got grounds, I'll go with grounds. And it does max this power inverter out. It takes all all she has but I haven't had any problems yet and it works so I go with a little bit bigger power inverter you probably won't have any issues it's heating the water up now This is usually how I do it, right here on the back tailgate of my truck. Once I got a trailer on, I can't get the tailgate down. And I just put it up there on the, uh, uh, yeah, fuel tank. And if I've got a trailer on, it only takes a couple seconds to unplug the battery, or unhook the battery. But I guess you could make it right there on the trailer. Just pull the cover off and hook everything up and make it right there on the trailer. See, it's still working, it hasn't kicked off yet. So it's dusty. Being in the truck.
not the fastest thing in the world, but it's cheaper. Some of the truck stops you stop at, flying jades or pilots, you're paying two something for a uh, large cup of coffee. <clears throat> I think this one about pays for itself. Here, there's a little cooling fan that kicks on when it gets done brewing. Just cool the coffee pot down. You can see the steam coming off. You know, that water is hot. Hey, hear that little fan running? Cool everything off on the inside. We got hot, hot water. It also comes in handy. You can use this to heat up, make oatmeal or ramen noodles. I found that it's a little bit quicker than the uh, <clears throat> lunchbox heater. And also, my cup here, see that? I picked this up at dollar store for five bucks. It plugs into the cigarette lighter and it heats up. In about 45 minutes, it'll heat water up to about this. So, yeah, definitely check it out. I would probably go with a little bit bigger inverter, but the 750 will do it. So, one last thing. And I've been talking to you guys on uh, YouTube, UNC Farmer. Um, I did go with these. They are filthy. I just had to go pick this trailer up in a, uh, a field. But you guys did talk me into going with these uh, Good Wrench, BF Good Wrench KO2s, and I do love them. They are better than the uh, Terra Grapplers that I had on this truck prior and the Terra Grapplers were pretty much brand new. I didn't have but 5,000 miles on them. So, yeah, there's my beauty there. Not hiding anything. I drive for wave. So, all right. See you later.